we're standing up here on the roof of Silver Bluff uh, Health and Rehabilitation Center in Canton, North Carolina, and we have 32 flat plate solar thermal collectors uh, that are the, really the most visible part of the system and um, really where all the magic happens from a standpoint of, of collecting solar radiation and then uh, enabling that radiation to be utilized for domestic hot water preheating. Um, what we have here is a flat plate collector, uh, 32 of them, they're, they're 4 by 10 in dimension and what the, the, the basic way that the, the collectors are constructed is they have an absorber plate which is dark in color, in this case blue, absorbs the solar radiation. On the underside of the absorber are small copper tubes that circulate a heat transfer fluid that's made up of polypropylene glycol and water. And that heat transfer fluid, as it's going through the, the tubes of the collector, gets heated by the solar radiation and then gets transferred down to the heat transfer appliance, where heat exchangers then convert that energy into the domestic hot water. So what, what we have here is a uh, solar thermal flat plate collector uh, by Heliodyne, manufactured in the United States. The construction of this technology has not changed that much in the last hundred years. In a flat plate collector, there's a few basic components that enable the uh, transferring of energy. You have the glazing, which is a glass, uh, tempered glass, that is textured, so it, pre it prevents reflection uh, of the solar rays. They don't bounce off. It's designed to collect as much radiation as possible. Right underneath the glazing is the absorbers, and these are thin sheets of metal that are blue in color, so they're dark in color. Uh, they absorb the solar rays, and then underneath each absorber fin is a uh, copper tube. And as you can see here, you have headers that circulate the fluid, a heat transfer fluid, through the flat plate collectors. They then get picked up by each individual riser and the fluid uh, through convection will uh, transfer up the collector and the solar radiation heating the absorber fins transfers its energy into the heat transfer fluid that then makes its way down to the heat transfer appliance and transfers its energy into the incoming cold water supply. This particular racking system by Heliodyne is a, is a great system uh, that we use exclusively for our STEP training program uh, because it's a very user-friendly uh, system. It, it basically can, consists of uh, three main components, the bracket that mounts to the roof, the uh, bracket that attaches the rails uh, to, the, uh, to the roof mount, and then the rails themselves. And one of the nice components of, of this system is it has an open channel on uh, the top of the rails that allows the hardware to slide freely. So from an installation standpoint, as we'll, as we'll show you in a second, uh, setting the rails and, and attaching the rails to the racking system is a very quick and easy process. Another nice feature of, of this particular collector is the union that connects each collector together. Uh, in, in, in this particular technology, we can uh, connect eight collectors together in, a, in an array and we have a, uh, a fitting here, a union, that is hand tightened. So it really uh, prevents or eliminates much of the solder work uh, that needs to take place on other technology. And as you can see, all it takes is, is, uh, is hand turning of the union and that is the, and there's a rubber gasket inside of the union itself and that uh, seals the collectors together and that's it.